Well, all eyes will be on South Africa in just two years' time when they host the World Cup. But their team is once again struggling at the Africa Cup of Nations. It's not looking good. Even if they win their final group game against Senegal on Thursday, they could still be eliminated. Andy Richardson reports from South Africa's team headquarters in Ghana's mystical city of Kumasi. Kumasi may be Ghana's second city, but it's the capital for the country's powerful Asante tribe. It's said that 300 years ago, a sword signifying their unity fell from the sky and that should it ever be removed from the earth, the Asante kingdom will collapse. Now, I'm not going to attempt to pull the sword out because apparently if I try and fail, I'll be on the receiving end of some unnamed but doubtless very painful punishment. So while the Asante looks safe for the time being, the future of some footballing powers here in Ghana looks a lot less secure. In two years' time, South Africa will host the World Cup, but their team are struggling at this Cup of Nations. Even if they win their final group game against Senegal, there's no guarantee they'll reach the quarterfinals. These players understand the situation that we are in. It's all about going out there and, um, and finish, finish well, really. Uh, give it all. Uh, try to win, to, win the, to win the game. South Africa certainly can't be accused of a lack of financial ambition. They're throwing $3 million a year in the direction of their Brazilian coach, Carlos Alberto Pereira. He's already led four different countries to the World Cup finals and won it with Brazil in 1994. But he could now be in the midst of his toughest ever assignment. Pereira says his is a long-term plan aimed at developing the best young talent for the World Cup. But after taking just one point from two games, playing down short-term concerns seems to be his job just at the moment. In, in every competition, all the 60, 16 teams who came here, they were willing to go through the, the next stages. We are a little bit different than the others. Not that we don't have the same desire we do have, but also we are in a building process towards the World Cup. It's a view not necessarily shared by those who awarded the continent's first World Cup to South Africa. Pereira, he must, he must show with his team that they are ready. He cannot say, as he explained the other day uh, or in November when I was down with him in, in Durban, he said, yeah, it is important to be ready at the right time. No, it is important to show that you are in good preparation. FIFA is confident that South Africa will have world-class stadia and infrastructure ready for 2010. Building a world-class team may prove to be a little more difficult. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Ghana.